YouTube, what's up? It's Jared. It's been a long time since I've made a video. Today I want to make a still air box and I'm show you all how to do it. Any procedure that requires a sterile environment, you can do inside a still air box. It's not as good as a glove box. Uh, I didn't have any gloves, but I had a sterilized container. So we're going to make a still air box uh, and then later on we'll convert that still air box into a glove box. Stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're going to use this uh, giant Sterilite container that I got here. Uh, it's a 116 quart container and I wanted a container that's big enough so I can put multiple bags of uh, substrate in it at the same time and I don't have to uh, keep opening and closing the box to bring stuff in and out. I'm going to build this box upside down because I want the lid to be on the bottom. I want the weight of the container to hold the lid down. The next thing to figure out is where to put the holes. So somewhere I have a Sharpie uh, and you want, when you set it up, you want it so that your hands are at a comfortable level. You don't want to be working like this or having to be bending over. You want to be able to stand straight. All right, so we're going to draw two little dots uh, right where we want our hands to be. And so right about there, right about there. All right, so I'm lucky enough to have a big asshole saw that's about the right size for me. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and punch some holes right on through. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Alright, so pick off any big pieces you got. Um, hopefully there's not too much. You just want to clean up the inside of the edges a little bit. If you had your vacuum hooked up to blow instead of suck, you find out real quick the next time you go to use it that it's blowing and not sucking. As you just saw, I blew plastic all over the place. Alright, so I used a four and a half inch hole saw to cut my holes. Um, these are actually not the cheapest thing ever. So some other ways that you could cut these holes. One, uh, you could use, there's like a coffee can method. So if you get a, one of the smaller coffee cans that are metal um, and you can heat it up and you can melt it through. I personally don't want to do that. I don't like uh, all the melted plastic fumes cruising around through my house and uh, up into my uh, breathing passages. Another method, you could trace the holes, find something round about the size that you need, trace the holes and use um, a jigsaw to cut it. Or if you don't have a jigsaw, you could take the same traced holes and use a drill bit to drill individual holes all the way around, which is gonna take a little bit and it's gonna be rough, but then you can use a file or a knife or something to smooth out that inside circle. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick test run here to see how it would work. Uh, I put my water bottle in here. I can take the cap off, put the cap back on. If I need to grab something over here, this room over here, I can get to pretty much any spot on this that I need. So it's not too big, it's not too small. Uh, I can fit quite a bit of stuff in here and it's gonna work out pretty good for me. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something from it. So, like I said, later we're going to convert this into a glove box and stay tuned for that video. If you liked it, uh, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll have a lot more videos coming out soon and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.